how you go. Hi, we're going to show you how to contour today. So first step is Taylor already primed her face and she put foundation all over. Now I'm going to use a concealer. You always want to use a concealer that's either your skin tone that matches up to your foundation or one shade lighter. We're going to conceal under her eyes first. A stripe down her nose. Corners of noses because that's what can tend to get red. The chin. A little bit on the forehead and above the eyebrows. And we're just going to blend that all in. Go and look up. You really want to make sure that it gets blended all out and you don't have any creases. So then I'm going to take a setting powder and a brush. Make sure there's no creases underneath her eye and really set that under eye. And this is called the baking method. Um, a neat fact about baking is the powder underneath your eye makes your skin not able to breathe right there. So it raises the temperature. Um, of your skin, which is really going to get your powder and your makeup to set and stay all day. So this is a great thing to do whenever you have an all day event or if you need your makeup to stay all day. Set anywhere that she might be creasy. We're going to not brush that off to the very end. And then I'm going to take the contour kit. For Taylor's skin tone, I'm going to use mainly the middle color. And get it on an angled brush. I'm going to go about right here. If you have more um, bigger cheekbones and um, wider cheeks, then you might want to do more of a straight line. But if she, Taylor, since she has those straight cheeks, we're going to take it on a little bit of a curve to round out her cheekbone a little bit more. I'm just kind of curving that just a little bit and then blending it out. I'm going to do the same thing on the other side. I'm going to take it underneath her jawbone. and blend that out. You want to make sure that's really blended so you don't have any lines. And then around the hairline. put a little bit on the nose. So then I'm going to go into the contour kit again and I'm going to take one of the lighter shades for Taylor. I'm going to use this one and I'm going to set right underneath that contour line so it doesn't move down her face or slide throughout the day. This just really ensures that your contour is going to stay put. And since I want to give her a little bit more of a rounded look, I'm going to curve my line up just a little bit. This is also part of the baking process, so you're just going to want to let that sit for a little bit. 
And I'm going to look up and we're going to wipe off underneath her eyes. I'm going to deepen up her contour up here just a little bit. Taylor is all set and ready to go. And our contour kits are 10% off through this weekend, I believe. <laughs> 